Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Welcome back. Hope everyone's staying safe once again. Uh, today for our quarantine blog, we're going to explore how to write a dramatic underscore cue with the Riot Audio Putty Piano. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So first things first, what the hell is a putty piano? Um, if you guys remember Riot Audio, we had their Bode guitar clouds and Bode glass clouds in the shop previously. Uh, they were big hits, so we're glad to feature another Riot Audio library. So the putty piano is a unique twist on the timeless classic and experimental prepared piano sample library where we dampened the strings with poster putty. So the effect has a muted sustain with a sharp attack and a soft resonance. So what does it sound like? Well, let's check it out. I used it to create a sort of dramatic underscore type cue, which would be really good just for, you know, underscore in a film or a TV show or even, you know, a video game, background music for a video game or something like that would be perfect with this. So first of all, the Putty Piano GUI here is um, pretty straightforward. We have different snapshots up here, but right now I'm just kind of focusing on the default sound, which is just like this. So that's not actually 100% default. I took these noise layers here, turn up the hammer and the pedal, um, so you can adjust those layers yourself and adjust the shape over here as well as the delay. Um, this here, it has an arpeggiated sound, so kind of a sequenced, almost plucked type sound. So I used it here in a couple different iterations along with some strings right here and then a piano. So there's only one, two, three, four instruments in this, uh, but it's very simple and very effective. Let's check it out. So like I said, very simple, very limited amount of instruments, but sometimes uh, it just works for something like this. Um, it's it, This is a very popular style these days. It's kind of minimalist. While the it uses organic instruments, it does have kind of an electronic sound only because of the way that that piano is sequenced. So it's really perfect um, for that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I just use this kind of basic sound and just isolating just the putty piano. You can see I have a low droning note here. And then I just layered on top of it so it does kind of do these arpeggios here once the other notes get in. So you can hear it has that nice delay, nice reverb as well. So it's, you know, a bit ambient. Now, if I just simply combine this with the strings, which I want to take down the, um, take down the velocity a bit or the dynamics. So 
So really the strings just completely mimicked um, what the, you know, the putty piano was doing, except where the putty piano had kind of splits here. You see how the note is split there and it kind of restarts the arpeggio. Um, the strings, you just want to have that low note just droning. Um, if, if that low note kind of cut off every time, uh, it wouldn't sound as natural, so you want it to be a little bit more flowing. But the strings really, uh, the chords, they're not even really chords except the end, but they just copy the same thing the piano is doing, and it's a nice slow attack, and it just fits perfectly. And up here I have, you know, a standard piano, not the putty piano, which is doing the exact same thing. So all together it just, you know, it gets this nice minimalist uh, ambience. <laughs> So for the second half there, I used, um, really this is completely 100% straight default sound. As soon as you load it up, this is what you get. You notice on the other one, I adjusted some of the noises here. Um, but I wanted to show this in the higher ranges because it really has a beautiful resonance to it. So slowly combine it with the piano and strings. So there you have it. This was made, you know, in a matter of minutes. Um, and sometimes it's as easy as just copying the notes from one uh, instrument to the next. For example, the putty piano notes, utilizing that down on the strings. But of course, attaching the notes where you can. As you can see, the notes there are detached. Same right there with the putty piano. You wanna attach those when you're putting them to the strings so it's you know nice and flowing. And it also helps when all of the instruments kind of fill a similar um, space, meaning that the piano, the putty piano and the strings, they're ambient. They have kind of long tails so that when it ends right here, You hear how the buddy piano and the strings, they don't just cut off right away. That would sound, you know, very unnatural. They all kind of have this kind of roomy ambience to them, and they all just fit together perfectly. So, again, that's a felt piano. Two instances of the putty piano using just the basic, you know, pretty much default articulation. And then the chamber strings down here. And you get a very beautiful minimalist uh, underscore. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it's very... Um, it's, it's a very popular sound these days, especially for film scoring. So there you have it. Putty Piano, really nice product, very easy to use, and you get really good results pretty, pretty quickly, just like that. So thanks so much for checking this one out with me. It's, again, the Putty Piano Riot 
audio. So this has been Brian with Audio Plugin Deals. Remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Uh, if you want to support us, please leave a comment, like the video, let us know what you think, and I will be back with you guys shortly. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you next time.